Angola's oil tax revenue has dropped in the first quarter of 2023. Oil tax revenue stood at 1.3 billion Kwanzas in the first quarter of this year, 800 billion Kwanzas less than the same period of 2022, during which the sector collected 2.1 billion Kwanzas. The value, 1.3 billion Kwanzas, resulted from the sale of 96.84 million barrels of oil at an average price of $79.31. Based on data available on the Ministry of Finance website through the Special Taxation Directorate of Angola. As part of the Electricity Company of Ghana's Corporate Social Responsibility, management of the Korobo District Branch of the ECG in collaboration with the Ghana Armed Forces have repaired some roads in the Somenya Township in the Yilo Korobo Municipality of the Eastern Region. Eric Tete, the Municipal Chief Executive, and Christopher Apau, the Acting Krobo District Manager of ECG, led workers from ECG, GAF, and the Yilo Krobo Municipal Assembly to fill the potholes that were creating major problems for road users. The Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company, Mazda, has stated that it will assist in the development of renewable energy projects throughout Uzbekistan. The company will work on over 2 gigawatts of solar and wind projects as well as 500 megawatt hours of battery energy storage under a joint development agreement signed with Uzbekistan's Minister of Energy and Ministry of Investment, Industry and Trade. Dr. Sultan Al-Jabbar, UAE Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology, Mazda Chairman and COP28 President-elect stated that the UAE is fully committed to assisting countries in decarbonizing. Visit energyghana.com or energyghanamagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV, local in focus, global in perspective.